Welcome to Budget Prepping. I'm your host, Dr. Matt. Today, we're going to continue our series of what I carry in my front pack. And again, this just kind of fits over me and just rides right up here in my chest. I simply keep two categories of goods in my front pack, namely navigation and security. <laughs> A little bit of survival within that, but that's just kind of the general thing. So today, I wanted to talk about flashlights. Now, I live in a part of the world where I'm above the 45th parallel, and it gets pretty dark in the wintertime pretty early, and we may only have about seven, seven and a half hours of usable light uh, before, you know, it gets dark and horrible and all those challenges. But the rest of the year, like this summer right now, we're sneaking up to summer solstice. It doesn't get dark until like 10 o'clock here in a couple of days, and that's pretty amazing. But... For the most time, I definitely have to have a flashlight. Now, I have all sorts of different flashlights to fit different needs, uh, but in my go bag front pack, I really only carry one. And I really like these gear light uh, ones here. Now, they're single double A, which I love that. They're single LED, but they've also got this little uh, part here, which helps you focus on it. And it uh, it can be, uh, yeah, that focus is pretty good. And these babies are bright, so I'm not even going to pretend to show it in my face. But they do have a tactical style about them with a little bit of jagged edges here. And if you need to, you can put your thumb behind it and potentially defend yourself if that is the case. Now, there are, again, other flashlights. These are, I, I get these on Amazon. I will provide the link below. By the way, you could, you know, hit... Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It's pretty cool to see those types of things uh, with you guys participating with me. But for example, last weekend, I picked up this Duracell flashlight. Kind of the same design, a little bit bigger. This one uses four AAAs. And I'm not a real fan of all the massive use. It does have a focusable single LED. This one is actually technically brighter. But with the four AAAs, this one will last a lot longer. Now, one of the things I invested in this week was coming up with rechargeable AAA batteries. I'll save my batteries and my battery charger for another day, but I've got rechargeable batteries, and I like the nickel metal hydride ones. That's where the initials when you're buying them on Amazon have uh, uh, N-I-M-H, nickel metal hydride. I try to keep track of the amp hours. I think mine have like 600 amp, you know, what, whatever it is, milliamp hours or, you know, whatever. But <clears throat> again, you got to have a good flashlight and it's got to last. Now, one of the things to consider in your bigger kits, like what you might have in your car, is maybe one of those hand crank ones, the wind up ones, or something that is completely USB rechargeable. And I mentioned the BioLite stove, which I think is included in the links below as well. So check those out for what you can consider doing. So again, you guys could be a great help liking and subscribing, but deeply consider clicking on the links to do your Amazon shopping uh, for the item or just click on the link, take it to Amazon and buy anything you want because that does actually help me out. But anyway, flashlights are critical for survival. Um, this is exactly the one I use as my participation in the Community Emergency Response Team or CERT Team that I participate with my county. Um, uh, does, uh, Department of Emergency Management. So it is an amazing one. And the only thing that I have found to be brighter than that little guy right there is uh, a mag light, a big mag light. Uh, so, but man, I wouldn't want to have to carry that. That gets awfully heavy in, in that front pack uh, right away. Anyway, that's it for t today's episode. We'll see you again soon. Take care.